Hello people to YouTube Universe, my name is AJ Bubba and today I'm going to be playing some Hypixel Sky Wars and uh, here we are. I actually ran out of MVP++ as you can see. I'm only MVP++ anymore, or MVP plus anymore, but uh, no big deal. I'm probably not going to buy MVP++ again unless I like feel like it, but I don't really feel like it's worth it to go spend 8 bucks on a donator rank again. Um, I don't really get that much more. I don't know. I don't think I used it. Maybe if the channel grows a ton and I need to be able to use Dash Nick without being a YouTuber, I'll get it, but it's not that big of a deal right now. Um, it's not that big of a deal at all. I've not gotten recognized yet. Thank you for dying easily. Um, so yeah, this is literally my first game of the day. I mean, I played last night. played quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to tell what I'm grinding for or how much I've been grinding. I'm going to kind of kind of try and keep that a little secret um okay that was a double kill um oh no i'm gonna get teleported back off the edge i wasted the real ender pearl that was so bad that was literally such a bad play bruh that's the first game of the day play for you so what i should have done there was wait for the time warp pearl to teleport me back then throw the real ender pearl so i didn't get teleported back but i i didn't think about that that's why i don't like time warp pearls they give you this fake idea of clutching when you're not actually going to clutch um i think the kit should be changed to be like thundermeister where it's a uh like you have to like right click with the sword to teleport and then you only get like three tele it has like all the same effects but it has to be with the sword and then use teleport where you're looking I think that'd be a lot better than the Time Warp Pearl. And then you still teleport back after three seconds. It's just, you get the sword. Um, I, I don't like the way time... I like using them when I use them well. But I don't like the way they actually play out when you're using them. If you guys know what I'm saying. Um, you probably don't. So, yeah. Uh, I just finished watching the Minecraft Championship. It's actually the first time I've watched, like... I've actually, like, watched the event... Like, I've paid attention to it before, but I've never actually, like, watched the event in full. I've always just, like, watched the highlights or, like, looked up who won afterwards. It's actually a pretty fun event to watch. Uh, I was rooting for Technoblade because I'm a Hypixel player. Uh, I mean, there was one point where Technoblade was actually subscribed to my old YouTube channel, so of course I'd be watching him. Um, I love the bow spam opportunities on this map to do stuff exactly like that. Or he's hit a poor dude off the edge and they can't do anything. So, yeah. Um, didn't you used to get coins from challenges? Uh, I feel like you used to get like a thousand or something coins when you completed a challenge. And I don't think that happens anymore. Um, okay, you're playing baseball player. So, I'm going to save my pearl for when I actually fight you. Um, what is up? I've noticed... What is up with the meta in Skywars? I've noticed the meta really changing recently. I feel like... Lots more people are playing kits like Baseball Player. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you guys see what I see? Let me see if I can get like an iron sword out of one of these chests. but Or like the fi two fire aspect swords to make. But a knockback two iron sword? What the hell? This is ridiculous. Yeah. This is crazy. How do I get knockback one on back-to-back -back enchantments? But what I was saying is, do you guys like notice the meta of Skywars changing? Um, I've started to notice that like more and more people are playing baseball player or jester. I mean, look, I just did so much knockback to this dude, and like different kits, and it's no longer everybody playing armor or disco or kits like that. The meta really is changing. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's interesting to see where the game is going. Um, I just whiffed that pearl, didn't I? I? Threw it right through that little gap behind his head. It's really interesting for me to see where the game is going because I, it's been the same for so long. I mean, it w it had barely changed when I got back to playing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Let's see how far I can hit him. Oh my god, right to the edge. Alright, we'll combo him. Oh. Now I feel silly. Alright, let's, let's just kill this dude. Alright, see you guys in the next... That felt kind of silly, and here we are on Heaven Palace, which I get every single video, I swear. 
I, I was playing I get Heaven's Palace only when I'm recording too. I, I will play Skywars for like three hours on my own just like grinding. I won't get Heaven Palace but maybe once or twice. And then I get I start playing Skywars like outside of a grind and I it's the only map I get. Like it's so weird. Okay, we just gotten really good armor off our island again. Um that's two games in a row I've gotten really lucky with armor. This is going to be a shorter video because I'm recording this a little bit later into the day. And I want the video to go up before like late in the night. Because if I record a video like later in the day and then I don't actually upload it or start rendering it until later in the night, uh, the video will never go up. So that's kind of an issue. Uh, how did I raise a body with all three of those kills? That's got to be some sort of weird luck. Okay, so now I know I have that corrupted uh, pearl. I think the Enderman kit or End Lord or whatever is just an excuse to give people corrupted pearls. How much health are you on? Oh, rip. Sorry about that. You kind of got bullied by my mobs there. Um, I have a legitimate army of mobs right here. So, I let's see. All right, this poor dude's getting bowed right off the edge. If I could hit a shot. There we go. And this dude's getting Ender Pearl 2 and Strength Chained. Alright, see you guys in the next game. Alright, so I like cut out the last three games because I just got unlucky. But, um, yeah, I could have had a, lot, a good title in the last game I got in the game with two 45 stars. I had Slash Crash Cup and Who Did This in here. So, that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah. I don't remember what I was commentating about two games ago. Um, oh yeah, I remember what I was commentating about, actually. I was commentating about how I unlocked Monster Trainer, which means I only have one more mythical kit to unlock. And it will probably be... Uh, it'll, well, it will have to be Fishmonger, because it's the only one I don't have unlocked at this point. And then I will unlock... Uh, I was looking at Legionnaire or Archaeologist, whatever like the, the very last kit you unlock is like the peak of um, the what's it called are, like the Angel's Descent. And I realized, and I was reading a forum post about it, and I saw that the kit was actually an homage to a lot of old Skywars guilds and like a, the history of the game essentially. So like the, there's uh, s like Socks, Red Socks, which is an homage to the guild Socked. And then there's... Um, the Legionnaire's chestplate, which is an homage to Sky Legion, which is really cool for me because, you know, that's like a big part of my Skywars history as a whole, um, is Sky Legion. Okay, what is happening? Why am I getting targeted here? Literally, why me? I get it, I'm stacked, but why was I the blunt of all those hits? This dude is really tryhard, so I'm actually going to, I need to go get healing from somewhere. But yeah, the, the, the Legionnaire's chest plate's really cool for me because, I mean, I was an officer in Sky Legion. That's where, like, the beginning of all my Sky Wars, like, history comes from, is from Sky Legion. So it, it's just something cool to see. Um, please go away. All right, that's lucky that I got a gapple in that chest. Um, so yeah, to see that and, like, to know, wow, they, they the, the player council really does pay attention to, like, the players. I mean, I... I wasn't a part of Sky Legion when, like, Off Day was, like, number one on the leaderboards carrying Sky Legion. But I was still, like, an officer in the guild, and I still got to do a lot with it. So I really do enjoy seeing stuff like that. And then there's also the Hearts Potion for the guild Hearts. Um, nothing for Simply Squad in there, but which is kind of funny because, you know, that was Sky Legion's competitor in the very beginning. But still cool stuff to see. Um, cool to see. Here, I'll actually look at the kit in the shop. Cool to see that people remember that stuff I mean I would have never noticed that um, normal kits and then archaeologist so we've got legionnaires chest plate blazing potion red socks potion of hearts simple oh simple fishing rod there's your nod to simply squad and I'm sure the blazing potion is a nod to somebody else I just don't really remember or know so yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one